A soft woman is simply a wolf and meditation. Welcome to August 2022, part one. July was getting a tad bit long, so I want to add this clip to August. And today event happened on a Sunday. My husband took the kid to his parent house and he's gonna babysit them there with his parents since they have something to talk about. And my sister and I are going out with David and Lily. Pre-warning, though this location is huge, parking is a tad bit of a problem due to the location. It was a grand opening, so we wanted to try it, we wanted to know what it was all about. Since Lily and David has been here first, they want to take us here to show us how yummy it is. The staff all wore primary school, I believe, uniform. It's actually really cute. Everyone there is super happy. They enjoy their job. The service is amazing. And here, people actually cook for you and just kind of show you how to eat. Very, very much like how it was in Korea when I was there. I honestly give this 10 out of 10 star when it comes to service. The food is also really amazing. And the environment as well as the surrounding definitely a fun place to be in Boston. Highly recommend. 5 star out of 5 star. Another few things I wanted to ask you guys is would you be interested in videos of food review? Just straight up food review of each, each restaurant that Lily and I go to. It will be a fully dedicated video on the reviews, the tastes, everything. And if you are interested in those videos, drop me a comment down below. I'm just taking a survey right now. After that really filling dinner, we decided to head on over to Fruit Life, another location that I've never been before. It's a Taiwanese dessert place, and this is what the menu looked like. So let's talk a little bit about the decor. The decor here is super cute. It is super young, teeny bopper vibe. The food is really, really good. Presentation for the food is on point. Taste is on point. And overall, I would definitely love to come back. Happy August, everybody. And today is my work day. Usually for the seven first day of August and the last seven day of August of any month, I'm super busy with inputting. And inputting is another word for record keeping and inputting pretty much payment from housing, client, as well as the new rent share that takes effect. My work is different every day, but because I'm really good at what I do, it usually takes two or three hours each day of those seven days to finish my work. This includes tracking, upkeeping, and sending client their ledger. Okay, so on average, I try to do four update a month just because every time it's a stock. And um, this is actually the end of uh, July rent that I was updating. This is my last of them. Every week I try to do it once. This is a weekly thing. That's why I literally only do it once a week. So I always try to find a weekend to do it. If I couldn't do it in the weekend, I would try to do it on a Monday to catch up on Sunday's work. But on average, this is how much big work is done weekly for the business. These are the paperwork work that is usually done for my own apartments. Yeah, I know. And so because it's done, now usually end of the month is when I file everything. This is weekly for my family business. This is monthly for my husband and I. So yeah, so at the end of the month I always file all my stuff and weekly I would file the family business, um, as in family business what I'm a part of. So this is why it's very hard for me to be um, consistent in my content, hence I 
I would go like months behind on my editing. It's literally because some months I have 30 rentals to work on, some months I have 10, and even at 10, that's quite busy because I literally all do all the paperwork uh, from the landlord side and the client side, and I do all the tracking down if they are using government help. So yeah, I'm quite busy, and my phone never stops ringing, and I work all the time because of this and often time I try to really be there for you guys and whip out a phone but every day I'm pretty warm that I want to be present when I'm with my children so it's been really tough you know focusing on work because obviously we all have dreams we all have something that we want to do with our life but there are also responsibility ultimately I feel like the family business is the main bread and butter so that is something I do have to put in for but as far as YouTube, I just like to document my own personal growth with my videos, as well as keep you guys updated. And I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, in 10, 20 years maybe, because or dreams, it doesn't have to happen tomorrow. It can be one thing at a time. Perhaps this will be something, you know, maybe this will be a survival diary for another one of you. So I try very hard to try to keep myself updated. Um, so one by edit videos, usually after the kids are asleep. So after 9.30, I try to put an hour or two into my editing. And I do that daily. Sometimes I'll stay awake till like 2 a.m. if I want to really push for a project. So yeah, a lot of thumbs up, share, comment, interaction would be much appreciated. See you next time. Excited to give my client her keys today. So my husband is working next door right now on pulling out, you know, the sink, the cabinet, while I'm doing some cooking and gardening today. See you guys? I got pepper growing. My blueberry's growing really well, too. So. It's turning purple. Today is day one for us fixing the house next door. Doing some demolition work. Today I'm gonna update housing payment, so it's gonna be another hour or so. And in the same time, I'm also cooking lunch for everybody. So wishing me luck that I don't burn my bread. With this home, um, it was already ready to move in, but I didn't like it. So I'm going to take everything away, cabinet and all, and I'm going to rewire everything because there's a certain feel I want to do with this home. I want to make it completely different from my house, and I kind of want to be able to do this myself so yeah <sighs> lots to do and with august the heat wave is killing all of my plants well my plants are doing fine but my grass is dying and now since i did not set up a sprinkler system which i fully regret i have to kind of give it water three times a day just so it can beat the heat it's I cook three meals a day because they wake up at 6, they want the meal at 7, <laughs> and they have to eat at 11 because they nap at 12, 
and Kaylee has odd sleeping hours so I literally have to fill in my work any time in between because they will always distract me and ask for this and that so yeah once again it's the first seven days so I'm doing a lot of payment and this is every single day and because I'm now watering the plant can you see I got some color on me look at this I'm actually tan this is the darkest I've ever been and I'm I'm here for it and this is what I'm making for lunch and I know I promised you guys so much cooking video but the filming situation is just not clear so I think I'm going to delay my cooking project to when my new kitchen in next door is done this way the filming you know angle is better the lighting is better What are you doing? And when I'm not working, taking care of the kids, answering phone call, email, etc., I'm cleaning and putting up with their shenanigans. Oh my goodness. What are you doing trying to climb it, huh? But no matter what, I always try to make time to edit video for you guys. I try to keep up with my social media. I've actually been really, really active on Instagram, so do follow me there. Link on the upper right hand corner. You know where we're going? Yeah. Where are we going? I don't know. Which one? Uh huh. For what reason? Birthday. Yeah. Exactly. Good job. Kaylee's like happy to be here. We needed that rain. And sitting there for a long period of time working on my computer has really took a toll on my back as well as doing all the heavy lifting on the gardening. Today I'm spoiling myself with some massage. Well, technically my husband, but this is one for me because I was complaining my back hurt. But still, it's the same thing. us 
us against us, oh Lord, I say amen, amen. So after the girls' lunch, it was time to go get my nails done. Hopefully she did it right this time. After my nails, I'm gonna go grocery shop because I have to cook for today and tomorrow. I used to have to shop super early in the morning and drive really, really far to H Mart. But now that they opened a new location in Quincy, though the line is kind of long, honestly, I love that it's close by to where I live. So it makes grocery shopping so much easier. Today started out as simple. Did the girls routine, cook, clean, and just chill with Kaylee. I wanted to rest and after 12, Erica is going to babysit and Lily and David is going to take us to lunch for my husband's birthday and then tonight we have dinner as a couple. Home renovation project update so far. I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough and see what the progress look like. Job to create content. Somebody's got to do it. It shall be me today. Okay, let's see. So today is my husband's birthday. We're gonna go out to eat at this new restaurant. Hopefully we'll enjoy it, but don't worry, we will tell you all about it as well as review for you guys. Location-wise, it's technically hard to find if it's your first time going here. It's at the casino, but as you know, casino has multiple entry and the walk up here was quite long. Um, parking wise, there is a parking garage free of charge, so that's good. They used to charge like $40 to park there before, but it wasn't bringing in the clientele, so they made it free. The drink here are really good. Service is on point. Everyone is happy and helpful, which I really, really enjoy. However, after having the food, I would say that it's not worth the price that they're charging. I feel like they really up push the price and I've had better food at a lower price at actual French restaurant. I mean, they try to be creative, but I don't think that the chef there is not all that great. However, the drink, the drink are on point. On this review wise, this bread you can get at Smith & Walensky and Smith & Walensky actually makes this better. I mean, it's the same thing, but the way they season is better. Uh, the tuna tartare that you're looking at is actually not that great. Um, the crab cake is decent. I could make it better. The chili cheese steak that this guy was recommending honestly was super cheesy and it just wasn't great as a slider. Um, I was not too happy with the food. The presentation was mediocre at best. So yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend for you to spend your hard-earned money here. And honestly, I'm really glad I ate before coming here because I got super hungry at home, so I ate what I cook at home. So I didn't order a lot, but from what I order, I'm super happy. I, I did not order the super expensive stuff because I would have really hated my meal. We ended the birthday at a really good note, and then we came home, I gave him this present, and yeah. 
So I have been finding these feather, these huge feather on my yard when I was cleaning and now I know who did it. So we've been having a hawk that frequently just chill on our furniture and just chill back there. Asian coining. Here's the results after three eggs. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I will see you in the next video of part two of August.